Hey guys, Max here, just running through my six hours I played at Hobbs Cross today. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos. This is a nice little 375 yard par 4 to start off with. It's nice and open. There's not many trees around this golf course, so the tire is a bit driver out. I just pushed it out right into the right into the right rough. I only had 108 yards in. So I did a nice little easy 54 wedge so that it hit the front of the green and just trickle on. Which was this was one of my nicest shots of the day. Left myself with about a six footer for birdie. It's always nice to start off with the birdie, making sure that I'm running through my routine, making sure that I'm keeping my head still, my putt is going back and forward, so I'm squaring it up. And I managed to knock this one in for birdie. Hole two is a nice 375 yard par four uphill. It was a little windy today and a little rainy, so I decided to hit my two iron just so that I could knock it down under that wind. There wasn't much trouble, but there was a river just short. And I pulled it left into the rough on the left, which was very, very, very thick. It doesn't look like it, the ball's sitting up a little bit. But I decided to take my pitch wedge, it's about 134 yards. I only wanted to hit it at the front of the green, so again, it'd trickle on. And I managed to just pull it a little left, so that it was in the left side rough, just next to the green. So I got my 58 wedge out, so I only wanted to just trickle it on. Make sure it was running up to the flag, it was a little downhill shot. I left myself at about five footer for par. I did play with my dad today, it was very nice. It was a shame about the weather, it was a little bit rainy. I had this for had this for a nice part. This was a little testy one, it just I didn't I couldn't quite read it well enough. But I managed to slot this one away, even though I didn't think it was going in. <laughs> nice par there. This is a nice little 162 yard par 3 downhill. There's a pond on the left, so I didn't want to pull it left, which I'm usually doing with my irons lately. So if you see me just to finish up short, then that's probably why. But I needed to hit this one. I just pushed it out right. It managed to hit the rough on the right side and trickle onto the green. And I left myself with about a 15, 16 footer for birdie. A little right to left. I didn't want to leave myself short. This was a little downhill, making sure that I'm focusing on releasing my par. And as I did, I just pushed it, and it's just gone right of the hole. I've left myself that one for par, which I do tap in. But it's not a bad start one under. Now this was a this was a tricky par four. You, you couldn't quite know where to place it. It's 273 yards, but there's a bunk on the right and a bunk on the left. So I had to hit a good tee shot. So I decided to take my four and it would have left me about 30 yards in. And I end up striking this one quite nicely. With a nice little draw on it. Left myself about 30 yards in, so I decided to take my, pitch, um, my 58 wedge out. I only wanted to I try to get some spin on this just to flop it up there. I left myself at about nine, ten foot for birdie. Again, let's hope I make this one. Again, this was a right to left. Uh, sorry, a it was, this was a left to right up. Downhill. Just trickles in. And just get that nice fist pump there. Two under par. This is a par five, but there is a there is a river running right across it. So I decided, decided to take my four iron. It's about two forty away that river, and it just kept rolling and rolling <laughs> until I went into the water. So I've had to take a drop out the other side. So I'm playing free from there. I've got a four iron again. It's two hundred and fifty yards struck this one really nicely but it was going towards the pin and it had a terrible terrible bounce off to the right so I'm not looking very happy and I did chip this one up but the uh, camera didn't work obviously so I've chipped this one up and I'm left myself with a tricky par putt running down 
thinking this one was quick. I have left it a good six foot short, which is not great for me. I was putting quite well today, but this, that part was absolutely atrocious. So I'm hoping to get this one in for bogey so I can stay one under, or I can go one under and not level. See this left to right up. And I just end up pulling it and it just misses the hole. So I have, I, I have double bogeyed that hole to go level, which is not what I wanted. So this is this is my last hole. Nice little par three, 152 yards. I decided to take my pitching wedge out just to get it on the, the middle of the green. I've hit a nice shot with a little draw with some spectators watching. They enjoyed that one. And I've got about a 20 foot of a birdie. I see this was a this was a left to right. I see my dad dad's part and he didn't play it so well. It was a left to right. It was a long way away. I was judging my putts quite well. They were going towards the hole, apart from the one on the last hole. I just wanted to make sure this was up next to the hole so I could pile it. And I hit a really good putt right at the centre of the putt. And I thought it was going in. I just left it. I just left it as shy. And I did eventually make a par from there. So I ended up level. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, thank you.